folks and welcome to the Peel Kitty Style channel. I am going to do something a little bit different than normal today. I am going to do a special unboxing for tea. So I'm sitting here in my tea nook today. You can see some of the pretty little uh, tea cups that I've gotten through the years. Some as hand-me-downs, some as gifts, some as just some special little presents for myself. Uh, so today I wanted to share with you an order that I just got, which is this giant box that I just got from David's Tea. Uh, was something that I ordered after the holidays with some of my holidays money. Uh, and let's see if I can open her up. As my cat tears through the living room. All right. Oh, it's very prettily wrapped. It's got, let's see if I can show this. It's got like, David's tea has like a little tissue and then a little sticker on it. I didn't expect that. Tear through this paper and all the bubble wrap. So this is the first thing that I ordered is I wanted to get a double walled tumbler. Um, so it's just a fuchsia double walled travel mug. It's actually supposed to be for cold but I am going to use it for hot as well and we'll see how that goes because I have another one from there that my husband has taken over and uh, it is I think meant for cold as well. and. He uses it for his coffee in the morning and it's good because it's, you know, it has a good snap on it. So that's the first thing that I got. And then this is the three in one pitcher and it comes in this pretty box. I didn't expect that either because I got one from them before and it was actually from a different company. So I'm not sure if this one's a little bit different. Let's open her up and see. Looks the same so far. Yeah, it is the same. So Primula was actually, so it is Primula. They just have their own branding for it now for the packaging when you order it through the company. Um, but Primula is the one that makes it and I have another one from them and I really love it. Um, but it, um, part of it cracked, um, probably because I use it so much. Uh, but it's great. It has this little piece inside that you can take out and fill with tea and then you put it in there and let that steep. And then you've got iced tea, which is fantastic. You just put that in the refrigerator. It does have a, this piece that you can actually put in the freezer and then you can put that in to make it chill faster. And I don't know what this piece is for because the other piece that I got was actually to put I guess this is to like stir it, whip it with, I guess. That's interesting. I'll have to, uh... yes, mix. So first you steep, then you put the mix one in it um, to mix all the flavor together. Uh, and then the last part is chill. The one that I have had before, which I can still use with this one, um, is a uh, tube that actually allows you to put like cucumbers or lemons or that type of thing in it, um, which is pretty cool as well. And I still have that. So that is my pitcher. Actually, just put this over here. And then I got some teas, and they came with like little tins. Which is weird, they don't put the tea in the tins, but they send you the tins. So these are all empty. But I got Magic Dragon, which is a fruit infusion 
they say dragon fruit is so packed with good stuff. It's the next big super fruit. Taste it for yourself. It is a super tangy tropical blend with apple, rose hip, hibiscus, and blackberry leaves. So I'm pretty excited about that because I do like dragon fr fruit and I've had a dragon fruit um, flavored tea before that I really liked. So I'm going to try that one. And then I got Bear Trap, which I've had before. And this one is hibiscus, elderberries, rosehip shells, apple, papaya, lemon, verbena, black currants, blueberries, strawberry leaves, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, morello cherries, and naturally red fruit flavoring. So it is very fruit packed. So I like to go with the fruitier teas when I'm making iced tea. I tend, which is funny because when I have hot tea, I don't like fruity tea. Um, so I'm a bit of a weirdo that way. And the last one that I got is green and fruity, which is actually a green rooibos. Uh, and it is green and red rooibos, apple, candied papaya, uh, mango, and that's it. So yeah. So I'm excited to, tr I think I've had this one before and it seems to me I liked it, which is why I am decided to get it again. I like to, the other reason that I like to stick with fruity teas when I'm doing an iced tea is A, it, they have a lot more flavor to them, so they lend well to iced teas, but also you don't have to worry about how long it's steeped for, um, because if you use like say a green tea or an oolong or uh, even black tea, a little bit less so with black tea, but white tea, any of those, they can actually get um, rather bitter if you let them steep too long. Um, well, with fruity teas, you can kind of let it sit, and I tend to let it sit until it starts to cool and it's ready to go in the fridge. Then I just take out the, the little basket and uh, away you go. And so they also sent me some samples, which I think are in here, so these are more of the same because I got 100 grams of each. Uh, oh, and they, this is really cool. So they sent me, of course, the tea menu. Uh, they send you stickers to put on your tins, which is interesting that they don't just put them on there, but... Um, and then they sent some samples as well. So I got uh, toasted walnut. Um, which is I've had before and is really good. Uh, so it is a sencha green tea uh, with nut brittle, uh, which is hazelnut, then pineapple, coconut, walnuts, almonds, and other natural flavorings. So that is really good. That's good as, as a, I have that as a hot tea. And Buddha blend, which has white tea, green tea, jasmine pearls, white hibiscus blossoms, and natural and artificial flavoring. And then it should be a third one in here, I believe. Oh, maybe that's it. I thought there was a, a third. Oh, here it is. It just fell out. And that last one is Nuts Forever or Forever Nuts, which I am, Forever Nuts. Uh, and it has apple, almonds, cinnamon, beetroot, and artificial flavoring. Uh, so one of the nice things that I like about David's Tea too, uh, which I try to buy from David's Tea over Tivana, I really like Tivana, um, but David's Tea is actually a Canadian company, so I like to support Canadian companies if I can. Uh, and I also find Tivana to be a little bit a uh, higher price point as well. So when you consume as much tea as I do, <laughs> uh, I try to uh, limit the cost by going uh, a little bit lower in the price point as well. So uh, I do kind of change it up. I do get teas from both and other places as well, but um, that is uh, why I try to go with David's Tea. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little departure from the normal from this channel. Um, I might do some other un weird unboxings like this when I get different stuff. If you're interested in seeing some different like lifestyle kind of stuff, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. 
and I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoy tea as well, I'd love to hear from you what your favorite teas are. I'm always interested to try something new, so certainly let me know if you think there's something that I should try because you really love it. And I hope that you had a wonderful holiday and I look forward to seeing you here for some more videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day.